Well, Gitmo houses nearly 250 detainees currently. President Obama is planning to close it within the year, but other countries are showing no interest so far in housing these accused terrorists. Some of them, as you know, are the worst of the worst, including this man. Confessed 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is currently at Gitmo. Abdul Rahman Al Nasri uh, is also the man who is behind the uh, coal, USS coal bombing. So one idea that's being floated here is to keep them in U.S. prisons. Leavenworth has been named, uh, so has Colorado's Supermax prison as another possible facility to put these 250. But Republican Congressman John Chadig of Arizona has a different idea. He says just say no. He is proposing a bill that would keep Gitmo prisoners off U.S. soil, period. And he joins me now. Congressman, welcome. Good to have you here today. Thank so you, Martha. D does your bill include a plan as to where to put them, or does it assume just keeping Gitmo open? Would you like to change the, the current policy? It leaves that question open, and indeed the president can have his study and try to analyze what we do with them, but one thing it does not allow is for them to be brought to the United States. If the president has someplace else he can put them, so be it. But you mentioned several of the prisons here in the United States where uh, they are considering putting Gitmo detainees, and my bill simply says we would not allow them to be brought to any place in the United States for reasons of security and for reasons of the concerns of the American people. Why are you concerned about those prisons? A lot of folks that I've spoken to feel that they would be very secure uh, in those places. Well, my number one concern is the legal rights that they might accrue once they come here. Uh, none of the other bills address the issue of asylum. And the law of the United States is that if you are physically in the United States, you can apply for asylum. And so my concern is that one of these terrorists might, once they get to American soil, and they're not on American soil now, choose to apply for asylum and be released or be allowed out into American society. Second, uh, I don't personally think that these terrorists are a good influence on our prison system or that we want them in our prison system. And third, the capacity of the prisons that are high security American federal prisons is already being exceeded by the dangerous people that are there. So I don't think we have a place to put them here in the United States. Yeah. You know, you also make a really good point about others who might want these people freed. And we've seen similar situations in other countries. Uh, I think of the Israeli-Palestinian strife uh, where there have been battles that have broken out over the release of prisoners. Not just battles that break out amongst the public, which might happen, but also pressure put on American guards or those guards being held hostage. Right. It, it is almost like creating bait uh, and an attraction for other terrorists to come here and try to spring these terrorists loose. Before I let you go, Congressman, what, what's the response of your colleagues in Congress to this just say no idea? I mean, are they okay with that as a proposal or do they want you to go the step further and explain what you think would be a good plan to do with that? Well, I think my colleagues are interested in saying that they do not want these detainees in the United States, period. They are willing to look at uh, other alternatives. I personally believe Gitmo may be the best of those alternatives right. and leave them there. But they're willing to look at that question, but what they want to do is lay down a marker that they should not be brought to the United yeah. States. All right, interesting. Congressman Shattuck, thank you very much. Good having you with us today. My pleasure.